Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of Winter Survival. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys enjoyed the previous video. Now, I won't be able to see any sort of comments that have been made in the initial video. Now, the reason for that is I'm actually um, recording back to back. So, with that in mind, I just thought I'd bring that up now. So, any questions, I'll definitely answer those in the um, comment section if there was any. So, I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. But we're going to get into the second video of Winter Survival. What I didn't um, actually show you beforehand was the little mail system as well. So basically it just tells you that you've got your um, uh, rewards and things like that so you can claim them but you do have 30 days to claim them in your mail. So I think that's going to be like your little inventory system. So please disregard what I mentioned in the early video about um, hoarding things in your inventory uh, system. It appears that it's not going to stay there forever. So just keep that in mind. Um, as you can see here, I was just sort of toggling between the collect rock, uh, sorry, logs, rock, and flax there. So again, these are your basic quests. So if you go ahead and just start um, grabbing some bits and pieces around here, you will surely, without a doubt, um, be able to um, complete this little quest line here. Be careful of enemies and things like that as well, because they are definitely floating about. Um, I can't actually find any little stones. I would have figured that would have been like a little stone that you could pick up, but it looks like it's a shadow, so I'm not too sure what that's about. Um, but for now, let's just continue to grab a few things here. That's snow, I think it is. Yep, clean snowball. Now, if I remember co uh, correctly, you can actually use the clean snowball uh, for water. So if you need hydration, you can actually use it. There you go. And I think you're, there you go, but you'll get cold. That's the problem. So you just got to be careful on how you sort of, um, utilize that little feature there. But I thought I'd just bring that up, uh, because it's sort of good to know. Um, otherwise what I want to do here real quickly is I may as well start doing this. Let's get into the, I'm still trying to learn the button placements of everything here. Let's go ahead and learn that. Let's go ahead and learn that. And I need to find one more piece of stone so I can sort of crack open this. Um, oh, there we go. We're all over here. Okay, well, that's good. So with that, let's open that up and craft one of these bad boys. Wait for that to go to 100. And let's go ahead and get that up and running as well okay beautiful so the moment that we just sort of break this fella down here we should get our last piece of the initial quest there and then now it's telling us to collect berries craft a spear craft, craft a stone axe i've just done that literally i've just done that anyway so <laughs> that's really not much of a help there i'm probably going to need to do that soon anyway so we're actually going to head out and jump over to one of the basic zones and we'll check out that as well have a bit of a, a small little overview an event has popped up okay deserted cellar was found and the owner of it was attacked by the undead and um, as he fled okay well let's go ahead and do this first i'm actually excited about this um just quietly and only because um okay after being killed your backpack will be retained great because i don't think i'll have much opportunity to come back here because of the timer i'm hoping this is one of these basic um zones where there is absolutely no zombies or anything like that or no enemies here and you can pretty much go ahead and loot everything that's what i'm hoping for but we'll see how this all pans out so this might be something for you guys yes it is okay so this is basically loot the lot, just loot everything, um, take all, and you guys will be fine. Um, right now, I am, ooh, hello, that looks sweet. Oh, wow, okay, so yeah, if you guys get this, please, please, is this doing this automatically? Oh, okay. Didn't intend to do that, but um, we're going to check that out later. Got some nice rope. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Do not 
miss this opportunity. Please, please, yeah, make use of this. And if you have to, run back home and, oh wow, and get everything here. This is crazy. There's a cellar there. My guy's gonna die soon. That's not actually good. Um, there's absolutely no food. Can I use that as food? Yes, I can. I don't think that's, that's not going to, uh, make me, no, I'm going to need to put some clothing on, but I do not have any clothing and I just want to find everything. No. Okay. I'm full. All right. Okay. I'm going to die and I'm going to die. I need to run out of this zone quickly, like quickly, 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 quickly. Okay. Just made it. I'm going to run back home. And I know pretty much straight away when I run back home, I'm going to die. So it is what it is, but what else can you do? So I want to try and build up a few storage pits and things like that straight away. I know I'm going to die as soon as I enter into the zone, which is fine. Um, if I can make it through, whatever. No, okay. So let's go. Yes. And let's just go pick up everything here. Um, let's do that. I've got all these coins and things. That's amazing. I'm just going to equip that for now. Let's do that, 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 that. Um, can I just take all? I can't take all. Ah, you know why? Because I need to equip that. There we go. Okay. I don't know if you can leave this as a... Um, I don't know if you can leave this as a... Um, like a little storage thing. So let's go ahead and test that theory. So I'm just going to drop everything in here real quick. I'm going to head back out. Um, yeah, this is absolutely crazy. Uh, let's just do that. Just want to equip that for the meantime. Put that away. Okay. And, okay, actually quickly, I just want to see how much will it cost for me to do one, so that's one, two, four, okay, I need six. If I can find a, a little bit, oh, here we go. I need some rope, I need some flax. What I'm trying to do now is I'm just thinking if I can get enough of everything. I should be able to create myself just a bit of armor for now and at least this way I can um, uh, get some armor happening so at least this is sort of a good starting point but I don't think I have enough resources I, I might have enough resources around the base just to sort of get me started because I really don't want to miss out on that um, okay Okay, so if I do, well, let's learn that. Let's learn that, of course, and that, and that. Where are the shoes? Oh, okay. Well, this is gonna be better than nothing for now. So let's just go ahead and craft that. Let's go ahead and craft that. Did I, did I craft it? I'm not sure if I did, hang on. Hang on, hang on. No, I didn't. Okay. So you have to wait it out. All right. So let's just go ahead and craft that. Three. And then I need three more flax. If I can find three more flax, it should be fine. Doesn't appear to be a problem here because I should be able to get all three of them here. That's just a deer. Okay, and let's just grab that. All right, it's not much, but at least it's something for me to sort of start off with. And if I can sort of survive a little bit better with warmer clothing, then happy days. Okay, let's go and drop everything back. I know I spent a little bit of time on that one there. I didn't really want to do that. Um, okay, so let's just run into here. 
going to keep that with me just in case and put that away I really don't have any heels or anything like that so it's really not a good start uh, but let's just keep that with me and theory is I just want to see if any of this uh, is sort of retained um, but if I do die however I feel like that's going to sort of impede me a little bit because I'm going to miss out on um, well I'm going to lose that body essentially I just want to see what I need here okay so I might want to make up a couple storage pits just for now uh, okay so the storage let's just go ahead and craft that okay so I just want to make a couple and let's just put these away because I don't know how much loot that I'm going to get or what loot I'm going to get so it's going to be absolutely crazy let's use that so these storage pits are going to be out on the outers I believe I don't know where, where can I position these things um, I guess I can put that there next one But if I just okay, so you sort of have to move it around, and it doesn't really give you an option for you to actually. There we go. You sort of have to finesse it around, which is annoying, but it's there. And then these are your basic storage. So at least I've got that. Let's head back out, and hopefully, um, we'll get some decent loot there. So yeah. Apologies on this, so I was initially intending to go onto the groves and things like that, but this bad boy here popped up, so yeah, I am just making full use of this. Alright, so let's run back. I've only got just under 20 minutes before this goes away, so I, I need to act quickly on this. And I guess it's a good, you know, starting point as well, because you just get some decent loot just to sort of um, start off with. I didn't actually loot you, so let's loot you real quick. Nice. So you got a bow. And let's run over here. Can I sort of run around? I think I can. Oh no, I ran out of the zone. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, let's go back in. I thought you could sort of easily run around it, but that doesn't matter. Um, okay, so let's go back into here. Open this up. Okay, take a few of that, and there's going to be, okay, that little guy over here, nice little weapon. Alright, so I've taken everything here, all good to go, I want to see what happens if I walk into here, nice. There is absolutely more loot for you to get. Okay, let's loot up guys. I just hope I don't get sort of ambushed or anything like that, that would be catastrophic, but I'm going to see, I'm going to go for the bigger chest first, just to see if there's anything of interest. Um, that guy there too, 100%. This one's taking a little bit longer to open up. Okay, nothing of actual interest right now. I mean, it might mean something later on, but let's just open everything. Um, go over here. Um, okay, so we're getting some pretty decent loot, which is awesome. But I'm not too sure how much of this loot we're going to need right away. So, again, something that you probably just want to make sure that you just grab for now and then sort of take it all back, I guess, at the end of the day. Um, oh, I missed that one. Boom. All right, done. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else here. It's actually quite a neat little event. Two-story um, looting zone. Haven't seen that before in a survival mobile game, so hats off to the developer with that. Seamless transition as well, going from one to the other. So that's pretty neat. All right, so right now I'm going to need to spend the money and run across, which I don't mind in doing. From time to time if need being but at least I've um, completely looted that zone that was the the biggest thing I wanted to do okay so I might actually just go over to 
one of the zones there we'll check it out and at least you guys will get to take a bit of a peek as well so let's go ahead and drop off all of this if i can um so if i just start oh no let's just start double tapping everything into place which we can't do there we can do with that not with that all that so for now i will dump everything in here so dump 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 thank you very much keep that on me and i want to get my axe and pickaxe take those with us and we'll head out to one of the zones okay Let's do this pretty simple. We'll go over to the grove over here and we'll see what this is all about. Now I don't have too much heals or anything like that so kind of at a little bit of a disadvantage but I think we'll be okay. So these sort of things I probably just want to grab for now. You can see that there's little loot, um, uh, little loot chests as well on the mini map if you guys have a look. Okay and there we go. So you got swordsmen, uh, zombies, you got villagers as well. So you just want to be careful. Oh, look at this guy here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, get out of his way. So he's got this little power attack thing happening as well. Okay, this weapon is holding up quite nicely for the meantime. These zombies do move about, so you just got to be careful. Take their bones and loot up where you can okay so that's pretty good neat let's just grab all of that um ooh, okay i'm gonna need to do some sort of management here um can i drop anything over here i cannot oh no i can i move everything to here no i cannot do that and that'll be oh yes i can very good two extra loot boxes which is uh, sorry looting opportunities here Let's just get out of his way. All right, so you just got to be careful and equip that real quick. I want that to be on the top. And I think this is a bit more of a powerful weapon. There we go. Take on that. And I think for the quest, I want to take berries. I think is the quest line there. Yep, ice berries. Very good. So I think with these zones, I don't think they'll have a countdown timer either. So as soon as you leave the zone, um, everything will uh, kind of reset. So you just have to be careful of that. Um, but as you can see, you've got a few of these guys around here. So you're just going to be careful. Okay, just get out of his way. Just continue to hit him. So your spears are going to be your, you know, your early game weapons. Um, okay. Oop. Hey, you missed me. I don't know if that's because I actually got out of the way kind of thing. But let's just continue to hit. Oh no, he still gets you. Okay. So they do have an, a miss element as well as a as a landing hit element. Uh, let's go. Take all. Take all. Uh, ooh, big chest. What do we got in here? Ooh, okay. Well, I want to eat that. Probably eat that. Take both of those. Oh, Jesus. Where the hell did you come from? Um, okay. Uh, big boy over here. Let's just get him over here. Out of the way where everyone else is. Oh. And just keep poking him. We should be okay. I think we're doing okay with this. Just looks very um, intimidating to begin with, but it does does give you a bit more extra EXP and land some decent coinage. So I'm not too sure what's happening with these coins as well. So I don't, it's got to sort of um, come with some sort of currency element in this game. There might be like a trader or something like that that we'll be able to uh, interact with at some point. I'd imagine. Uh, let's just use that for now. Hey. And let's just put you down. There we go. Take those. And yeah, there we are. So look, ideally, if you really want to, you can probably just take out the whole zone there and um, eliminate everyone. But I doubt that everyone's going to be interested in doing this continuously. 
especially if you've got people coming after you. So as long as you sort of loot up everything around you, I think you'll be okay to be oh, perfectly honest. But I'm just going to hightail it out of here because I think this would be a good time to sort of get out of the zone and go home. Um, that's a deer, so that should be okay. We're fine here. Just want to see and explore a little bit more if there's any sort of other loots that I'm missing here, but I doubt that I am. So we're going to get out of here. Here's hot in pursuit, and we've made it out. Okay. So what do you think, guys? What do you think of all this? Um, so we've experienced a couple of zones there. I'm just going to walk back. Um, we found that little event that just popped up out of nowhere, the, the abandoned cellar. Again, guys, if you get the abandoned cellar, take that on with highest priority and get all of that loot. Aside from that, we've just I sort of went through all this little stuff here. Now, there was a little map um, that you would have got initially that you may have seen in my initial video, which is the village of Burke. If you accept that, it opens up this zone here and you guys have got accessibility. We can't tap onto this because we're moving along, so you can't really see the imagery there. It just tells you that you can't have any dragons at the gate. And if you die in this zone, um, your body will be um, retrievable. Now, it said dragons can't go beyond this point. So we are going to get dragons in this game. Is there a roadmap for dragons to come to the game? I'm not too sure, but this is something for you guys to think about and just to theorize, maybe hit up the developers. Let's see if there's like a roadmap that we can obtain. I'm going to ask that for myself as well. So at least this way, um, I, I might be able to get some teasers or something like that or what they're thinking of working on next. And at least this way we've got something to sort of look forward to. But with that all being said and done, hope you guys have enjoyed this one again. Best thing that you can do for my channel, guys, please like the video and share the video here. This will really get, um, reach out to a lot of other people that might be interested in the game and not just yourselves. But if you guys have enjoyed it, hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you guys haven't done so already. Check out all the other survival games that I play and uh, do on my channel as well. Alright guys, take it easy and I will catch you next time.